The Yankees and Rays will play the final game of their three-game series at Yankee Stadium. Whoever wins today's game will be in first place after today. Zach Britton was placed on the injured list before today's game as the Yankees made four roster moves today. There's the Rays lineup that will face James Paxton. And there's the Yankees lineup. They'll try to finally break through against Rays pitching that has dominated them so far this season. All right, let's get into the action, starting with the top of the first. Brousseau struck out swinging to begin the ball game. Meadows lifted one in the air to shallow right center field. Gardner ran in to make the play for the second out. Diaz struck out swinging to end a 1-2-3 first for Paxton. Hicks hit one on the ground into the shift, and Wendell made the play for the first out for Curtis, the opener for today's game. Voigt drilled one in the air to deep center field. Margot went back, onto the track. He looked up, and this one was gone. Luke Voigt hit a long home run into Monument Park in dead center field to give the Yankees a 1-0 lead. Voigt continues to destroy the baseball. Talkman grounded one off of Curtis. It deflected to Diaz, but he could not make the barehanded play as Talkman had an infield single. Talkman got the best jump I've ever seen and stole second base standing up. Geo struck out swinging on a foul tip for the second out. He's now three for his last 31. Glaber hit one in the air to center field. Margot was there to end the inning, but the Yankees took a 1-0 lead. Martinez hit one in the air to center field. Gardner made the play for the first out of the second. Renfro popped one up on the left side of the infield. Wade called off Glaber and made the play for the second out. Paxton walked Adamas on four pitches with two outs and nobody on. Margot hit one high in the air to fairly deep center. Gardner started in, but then drifted back to make the play and end the inning. Gardner lined one hard, but right at Wendell in shallow right field for the first out. Frazier had a great plate appearance and walked with one away. Kratz went on the ground and threw the left side for a base hit. This guy is 40 years old and continues to put up good at-bats for the Yankees. This end of the day for Curtis as Richards came in for Tampa. Wade popped one in the air to shallow left field. Meadows charged in and made a nice sliding play for the second out of the inning. Hicks lined one in the air to center field. Margot ran to his right and made the play to end the inning and leave two runners on base. Wendell struck out swinging for the first out of the inning. Zunino also struck out swinging for the second out. Brousseau struck out swinging to end the inning as Paxton struck out the side. Voigt struck out on a half swing for the first out of the inning. Talkman looped one in the air to shallow left field, and it got down for a base hit, his second of the game. Geo line went down the left field line for a base hit. Talkman went to third, and Geo stopped at second with a double, as the Yankees now had runners on second and third with one away. With the infield in, Glaber grounded one to short, and it was bobbled by Adamas. He got the out at first, but the bobble allowed Talkman to score and make it 2-0 Yankees. Gardner went high in the air to deep right field. Renfro went back. Onto the track, and he made the play to end the inning. I'll be honest, off the bat, I thought he got it. The Yankees did score one to double their lead. Meadows grounded out to Estrada at second for the first out of the inning. Estrada came in defensively for Glaber, who hurt himself running to first base last inning. Wade moved over to short. Diaz flew out to center field for the second out of the inning. Martinez struck out swinging to end another 1-2-3 inning for Paxton. Frazier hit one hard into center but right at Margot for the first out. Kratz blooped one in the air to center field, and it got down for his second hit of the game. He now has three hits and seven at-bats this year, while Sanchez only has nine hits and 68 at-bats. Wade hit the Yankees' third straight fly ball into center, and Margot was there for the second out. Hicks popped one up in the infield, and Brousseau made the play to end a scoreless inning for Richards. Renfro struck out swinging to begin the top of the fifth. Adamas worked a one-out walk, his second of the game. Paxton also worked Margot, as the Rays now had the tying runs on base. The first pitch to Wendell got away from Kratz, and Adamas moved up to third. Wendell line went down the left field line for the Rays' first hit of the game. Adamas easily scored, and Margot came around to score from first to tie the game at two. Wendell went to third on the throw to the plate, as he picked up two RBIs on the double. Zunino worked the count full and walked as Paxton continued to struggle here in the fifth. Verso hit one high in the air to deep left field. Talkman went back, and he made the play on the track, but Wendell came in to score on the sack fly to give Tampa their first lead of the game, 3-2. Meadows struck out swinging to end the inning, but Tampa scored three runs on one hit to take the lead. 
Voigt lined one past Adamas and into left field for a leadoff single to begin the bottom of the fifth. By the way, Luke was just upgraded to gold tier in MLB The Show. Talkman struck out swinging on a foul tip for the first out of the inning. It was end of the day for Richards as Castillo came in. Geo swung at the first pitch and drilled it in the air to deep left field. All Meadows could do was turn and watch as Gio Urshela hit a go-ahead two-run home run to give the Yankees a 4-3 lead on his second extra base hit of the game. Estrada popped one up in the infield, and Wendell made the play for the second out. Gardner grounded out to first to end the inning, but the Yankees regained the lead. Diaz swung at the first pitch from Adovino and grounded it down the right field line for a base hit. He went to second with the leadoff double to begin the sixth. Lau pinch it from Martinez, and he walked to put two on with nobody out. Choi pinch it for Renfro, and he drilled one in the air to deep left center field. Gardner ran back and made a nice running play for the first out, as both runners had to retreat. Adamas struck out looking for the second out of the inning. Margot looped one towards short, and it was past the dive of Wade. Diaz came in to score, and Lau went to third on the RBI single by Margot to tie the game at four. This ended the day for Adovino, as Luis Avalon came in and fell down while throwing warm-up pitches. Wendell line went in the air to deep right field. It was fair and off the very top of the wall. Lau came in to score, and Margot went to third on the RBI single by Wendell to give Tampa the lead back 5-4. Zunino drilled one in the air to deep left field. Talkman turned and watched as this one landed in the first row of seats in left. Mike Zunino hit a three-run home run to give the Rays an 8-4 lead and make me feel sad as a Yankees fan. Rousseau line one down the left field line for a base hit. He went to second with a double as the nightmare inning continued for the Yankees. Meadows, who was the ninth batter of the inning, flew out to end a horrendous inning for the Yankees as they now trailed by four. Ryan Thompson got two quick outs to begin the sixth, but Wade sliced one fair down the left field line for a base hit. He went to second with a two-out double. Hicks walked on four pitches, no bat flip though, to put two on with two away. Voigt looped one in the air to shallow right field, and it got down for a base hit. Wade came in to score, and Hicks went to third on the RBI single by Voigt to make it an 8-5 game. This ended the day for Ryan Thompson as Jalen Beeks came in. Talkman tapped one slowly in front of the plate, and Zunino threw him out at first to end the inning. The Yankees scored one, but wasted an opportunity for more. Jonathan Holder got the first two outs of the seventh, but he gave up a single to Choi because it's against the rules for the Yankees to have a 1-2-3 inning. He did get Adamas to strike out to end the inning, though. Solid 7th inning for Holder. Gio struck out swinging, Estrada grounded out to short, and Gardner popped one up in the infield as Beeks had a 1-2-3-7th. Margot grounded out to 3rd, Wendell grounded out to 2nd, and Zunino grounded out to 3rd as Gio made a great bare-handed play to end the inning. Still 8-5 Tampa. Aaron Sledgers came in for the bottom of the 8th, and he got Frazier to swing out of his shoes for the first out. Kratz grounded out to short for the second out of the inning. Wade flew out to end a 9-pitch 1-2-3 inning for Sledgers, who came into this game with a 15 ERA. Seems like the Yankees just wanted to get the game over with at this point. Unfortunately, Sessa came in for the ninth, and he walked Brousseau. He balked, which allowed Brousseau to move up to second. Meadows hit one in the air to right, and Frazier made the play for the first out. Diaz lined one in the air to deep right field. Frazier went back, he looked up, and it hit off the top of the wall and into the seats for a two-run home run. Diaz hit the knockout punch to give Tampa a 10-5 lead. There is some good news, though. The balk earlier in the inning doesn't matter now. Gotta find the silver lining. Choi popped out to end the inning. Three more outs until the Yankees are no longer in first place. Here's a blast from the past. Aaron Loop came in for the ninth. You all probably remember him from his days with the Blue Jays. Not surprisingly, he had a 1-2-3 ninth inning on only 8 pitches. The Yankees got swept by the Rays and are now in 2nd place. Let's end this video with Luis Avalon falling down one more time. Let's hope things get better against the Mets tomorrow night. See you then. Thank you.